Hi, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office, and thank you for joining me for part two of how to create your free WordPress blog site. Um, this was the confirmation we got once we clicked on the activate button from our email that we got. So it now says that um, equity title biltmore.wordpress.com is now active. So I am going to go back to the original um, sign in form and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sign in. So um, it is equity title Biltmore is our username and go ahead and enter your password and then click on login. Okay. From here, what we want to do is we want to look at our um, dashboard. So I'm going to hover over my name here in the corner and I am going to then hover in the gray square and click on dashboard. So this is what your dashboard will look like. Once you get more information in here, it will kind of fill out. Um, but we're just going to go down through some of these options here. So this is your home dashboard. This is where you can find out if you have any um, comments that you need to, uh, to look at. You can also do a quick press post. So if you quickly want to type in um, your, a, a new blog post, you can do that here with a title content and um, you can end tags and then you can publish it. Um, you also have recent comments and then you have your, st your statistics section here. So you can see how many people are viewing your blog. So that's all on your dashboard. It's pretty important to come to your dashboard. Um, you can break that down by comments I've made, site stats, um, my blogs, blogs I follow, etc. So this is where you would look at all of those in detail. Um, if you wanted to go make a new post, you would click on posts and add new. If you wanted to see all of your posts, you would click on all posts. Um, you can create categories and tags. Uh, categories are a way for you to sort of sort your um, blog. So maybe you have a uh, do-it-yourself home maintenance uh, category as well as a buyer's category, a seller's category, um, a neighborhood category, perhaps something like that. Um, and then tags are actually how uh, Google will find your blog, so your specific post. So any, any blog that, that you write, you may want to tag Real Estate Phoenix, Maricopa County, um, and then anything that has to do specifically with that blog. Um, media, this is where you can go ahead and store any images. So you can actually have a library of images here and you can just go to your library or add new. Same with your links, so if you have other websites, um, you can go ahead or, or uh, you know, your YouTube channel, those kinds of links, you can add those all here. Um, pages is very important. This is where you can go ahead and um, create extra tabs on your home page to take them to other information. Obviously, one um, that you'd want to fill out for sure is the About Me page where you can put information about yourself as well as your contact information. Um, but you could have a page for buyers and sellers and that sort of thing too. Um, and that information can be static. So your home page would be your scrolling blo your blog, but then the additional pages would be information um, that they would, you know, that they would go to, and those would just be more static pages that you wouldn't change as often. Um, this is where you'd go to find comments, any feedback, polls, and ratings. We're not going to talk about that too much. Um, appearance. We are going to talk about appearance. This is where you can choose your own theme. The widgets. Widgets are what sits sort of on the um, sides of your blog. Um, you can add calendars and that sort of thing. Um, menus, your header. I'll show you how to create your own header. A background, um, custom design, mobile, and iPad. Um, this is where you see your users, all of your tools, and your settings, which is also important. So join me for segment number three to learn more about appearance and themes and widgets.